Annyeong Haseyo! We are in Fukuoka! Okay, hi guys, welcome back to another episode of my channel. And today, if you see this video and you came in and you wanted to find something about Fukuoka, you are in for a treat because I'm going to vlog just our stay in Fukuoka. I'm not sure how long this vlog is going to be because uh, we decided to come to Fukuoka just very like recently in January just because the tickets was a little bit cheaper than usual and we just wanted to like go to a new place for holiday. We're going to be here for about four days and three nights. So join us on our journey. For that, we, I just wanted to say that for today, we woke up at 3 a.m. and we slept at 12.30. So basically, we only had three, two and a half hours of sleep. So this is my very, very, very tired face right now. So for the whole of today, please pardon me if like I forget something or what. But the first up, what we need is food. So let's go grab some food. So we came to the mall that is right outside Hakata Station. So basically in Fukuoka, I think there's only two very big and main places that people always go to, which is Hakata and Tenjin. So we're living nearby Hakata and apparently there are about five to six malls around here. So we decided to just visit the one that is just at the station itself. And there is so, so many ramen stores that you can eat from here. Honestly, they did say which one is good, but let's see what's nice and we can try. Hey, the camera up here. <laughs> How are you gonna decide, babe? What to, what to eat? Oh, this one is more yumiyo heavy on the left. Wow. This is the Hakata Karam Men. Oh, this is very famous now for their tomato ramen. This is famous now. Yeah. Okay guys, so we came into a ramen store in random. Basically, in the level 2 of this Hakata station, there's a lot, a lot of ramen. And we randomly just went into one. There's one that I really want to eat, but the queue is kind of long and we're super hungry. So I'm not going to wait today. Maybe another day when I have time to wait. But we just decided to order the two most famous ones. Just going to try and see what's like. But how bad can you feel, right? The Tonkotsu ramen is um, originated from Fukuoka, so, so let's give it a try. Okay. Look at the noodles. Wow. This is a little bit less thick than Korean style, I feel. Like in Korea, I think it's just Japanese does it better. So let me try this soup first. So nice. I think a bit different. Different? No, because I mix this in the vegetable. Oh, mm. yeah. oh as well. Let's dig in. Let me tell you what the noodles taste like. Makan! Mm. This is so good. <coughs> so I see like around here, they don't really drink the soup until the last because they sometimes want to add extra noodles. Yeah. The uncle will tell you. Mm, but out of all the ramen, I tried with soyu, sukemen, and this one before. Basically, soyu is soya sauce. This one is with pork broth, something a bit milky, and then the sukemen. That one's like the deep. I feel like this is my favorite. You like soyu. <laughs> you, you like soyu? Mm. Why? It tastes so empty though. I don't know, I like it. Try the gyoza. Mmm! So oh, nice! <laughs> I'm gonna add extra ingredients into my ramen. Sesame seed. I'm gonna put a little bit of um, red chili. There's garlic in here. I think there's garlic. No? Garlic and garlic. Let's try now. The new combination. Garlic nice. Yeah. This is so good. I usually don't eat so much for breakfast, but this tastes so nice. Mmm. So apparently, you can um, add noodles if you finish your um, noodles already and add more. Apparently, everybody here add extra noodles and still eat a rice on the side. Who eaters, yeah? And if you ask for extra noodles, you have to pay 150 yen. That's about thousand, about one dollar fifty cents, lah, basically. So as far as I know, in Japan, you can't add, add the soup. Soup only given. Oh, is it? Yeah. Of that's the. Oh, correct. Cool. You can just add soup on the. It's a different dish. Mm, that's I see. That's the, 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 the secret recipe. I see. I see. 
something interesting on the first day. Meta? Okay. <laughs> so very kind of couple has to put this one into our soup, it'll taste better. I'm not sure what's this, but let's try. If the locals tell you to do it, you do it. Mmm. Kaida muscles. It's just more soapy, no? It's is there more cake. Mm -hmm. mm. The first meal so far. Mm. Yeah. I, I like this part. Okay, you don't have to like go to the famous place in Instagram and feel like exploring on your own is more fun. Finish our first meal already. It tastes so good. So so good. <laughs> Stand by Mori. If you ever come to here, I'm not very sure what's the name of this store. What's the name of this store? Number one Nagahara. Yeah, Hali Lali is that. Basically, it's just right in front of the entrance when you come in. I would say that the ramen tastes good, but maybe you can give the gyoza a skip. It's not like very, very. Yeah, the gyoza, not my style. So very, very so good. It's style. just okay. First station check. Now, let's go do some shopping. Guys, okay, so what happened is um, Naki needed to go to the toilet in the mall that we we're in. So he already went to the toilet. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the food here. I'm not sure this is how you feel when you come to Korea as well, but I just want to buy every single thing, but I'm so full right now. Everything looks so good. Look at the freaking sandal sandwiches. The mango is like as big as my freaking face, okay? And then they have like matcha cookies, and then there's this thing that everybody is queuing up for. I bet it's very, very expensive. I mean, not very, very popular. And look at the salad. I feel like Korea, not only Korea, but Japanese are so good with like their convenient food that makes me want to buy everything. Oh my god, even the salad looks good. Oh my god, look at the sushi. Looks amazing. Okay, so look, this is the salad that they have. It looks so, so damn freaking delicious. I, I don't know. Oh my god, look at the hamburg! Okay guys, I gotta stop because I seriously am gonna buy something if I stay here. And I'm super duper full, so I'm not gonna buy anything yet. But I'm very, very thankful to be able to come to Japan to like, see all this. Everything looks so good. Oh my god, look at the strawberries! So this set costs thirty-two dollars. Well, it's expensive for a little bit, but they have white strawberries and red strawberries. I feel like this culture is so, so interesting in the sense that you can buy this kind of convenient food. They can bring home and eat, even in like a mall basement. In Korea, they have it as well, but I think it's not very known. I would love to talk about it whenever I get the chance, but Japan is so known for it. So if you ever come here. And you're thinking, oh, there's no food, and you have you are broke, don't have money, go restaurant. This is where you need to be, guys. Oh, okay. This is on top on top of the yeah, 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 right? yeah, I know. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me hold this. The Rolex hand on. Damn it. Yay! I learned this hack on TikTok. So someone talked about how you can get discount on top of tax refund. So it's already being said that in Japan, when you do shopping and you're brand shopping basically, it's a little bit cheaper in um, Japan in terms of like the exchange yeah. in price. Yeah, yen. And if you shop at this Hangyu shopping mall, you can get this 5% discount and you will be able to use it while buying any like branded thing. So I'm gonna buy. Ah! There is a, I always wanted to get this Celine like handbag, which is that one there at the floor. So I'm gonna go in and see if they have it. If not, I might be open to considering something else, but I think I'll be set with the hand. I'll be set. Let's see. been waiting for about an hour in this queue less than that of course because I can feel my legs doesn't feel like one hour however it's been really long I think because when people buy branded products you don't you, you, you come here to shop you don't really know what you want but I think it's better if you know what you want you go in and then you just try the bags that you already have in mind I think that's a lot better I know that sometimes you wanna like window shop what if you go in and you don't buy anything it's okay lah if you don't have if they don't have what you want that's true makes sense 
okay. But anyways, so we've been waiting already, and apparently in this queue, every almost 99% is Korean. So I guess it's really much cheaper in Japan. So after a grueling one and a half hours. Okay, so I just wanted to say I helped Naughty to save 1k by <laughs> buying it from Japan. Okay, so if you want to buy something branded, I highly, highly recommend you to come here. So, why is it 1k? Basically, the bag I wanted to buy is this, and the price is actually 3200. But because if you come to this mall, they'll give you a 5% discount to use on a lot of brands. Only some brands are not included, and they'll tell you which one. And then on top of that, there's a 10% tax free. So I literally saved 1k guys, I'm not even joking, it's like freaking 1k and I am such a winner. You spent, I say, you spent 2k, not save 1k. No, I saved him 1k. I could have bought it in Korea and just used the extra 1k but I saved him 1k so he should buy me something else with that 1k, you know? What's wrong? <laughs> Makes sense, right? No. Girl math. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the level to get tax free. Yay! Thank me. I paid my own card though. <laughs> no lah, it's company card. <laughs> a little bit of shopping, we got really really tired and we wanted to get a drink but there was no way to sit down. So we decided to get like a convenience store drink and this is what I got. Um, it looks like melon because there's melon inside and it's sparkling. Tastes so freaking nice, okay? I cannot even begin to emphasize how nice Japanese drinks are always so tastes so good. Ugh. Melon taste. Okay. Nice right? Wow. Something melon. melon uh, wow, nice. Okay, one, two, three, which one will we pick? One, two, three. Okay. Nice, really nice. Really nice. Yeah, this is really really good. Wow. Okay. I need him. Naughty is finally getting something. I've been bugging him to get a jacket and he only wants a leather jacket so yeah. this one he doesn't want branded, he just wants something that looks good so Japanese brand. Arigatou gozaimasu. The lash should be just nice. Oh yeah! You like it? Little. You don't like this nice, cutting? Nice but little bit weird yeah. Maybe try others. Could I? This brown one is actually nice. This is baby's second pick. Looks good on you. No, don't do that, oh my god. This is not this last this pick and I think it looks, looks better because I have this. No, okay. No, it looks fine to me. Yeah, the size also feels better to me. It looks more like it was meant mm. for you because of this. How much is this? Can I more information? No, la, I don't think it's a lot more. Oh shit, it's the same price as the previous one. Oh, damn. Hey guys, so we shot and we ended up at Coach. So he's probably going to buy a leather jacket from Coach instead. After this, we're going to check in. We're going to show you what our hotel looks like and then we're going to head for dinner. Ah, so hard today. It's like I was like you. I know I want, I have like a particular brand. That's not easy to search, but you you like to walk around one. But thing is, I do not know. Yeah, this looks nice, lah. One ah, thing is, it looks nice. He's so good. Looks nice. Okay. Mm. Okay, lah. come to this just convenience store nearby um, our hotel before we check in and I just wanted something soupy so what I really like about Korean convenience stores is Japanese convenience stores they sell so many things that I want to eat so there's this like soup thingy and then I love 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 this seaweed salad potato salad let's take it Please, 
I like it's automated though. Do you like that it's automated? When it works. It, it might work. By the way, we are staying in a hotel called Queenies Hotel and what? Relax. Princess right? Hotel Relax. Yeah, so this is actually mm. kind of near the Hakata station and I like that it's a bit like business ish. So it's actually very new, very modern, very, very clean, and that's what I really like about it. I haven't gone to the room, haven't shown the size of it yet. I don't expect it to be big, but um, we basically paid 200 plus for three nights for a queen room, okay? So, queen size bed. So, let's just see how it's gonna look like. But the good thing is, right, they even have like like place they can sit down and like, yeah, place you can make coffee, get drinks, welcome drinks, and they even have a laundry room. Let me show you. So cool. Let's see inside. Ooh, wow. I've never done laundry in Japan. I mean, maybe I did before last time in Airbnb. Do your heating up stuff. Yeah. Okay, and the good thing about um, Japanese restaurants is usually you take your man here as much as you need and you go up with it. So let me just take what I need. Probably two slippers. Right? And then two toothbrush. Body towel one. Hairbrush. Nah. T one each, cotton pad two, and then lots of Q-tips. Okay. 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 Yeah. okay. Thank, Thank you. So you. Okay. It looks very similar to the one we stayed that time. Please insert the room key. Yay! Thank you. So, taking out shoes first. Okay, it's kind of okay. Basically, this is a bit of wide angle, not very big, but okay, manageable, I think. Yes, no, I don't know, but oh, where are you gonna work though? <laughs> Welcome to Japan. <laughs> After getting some work done, we'll head out for dinner. So I'll film later, okay? No. What's that? Wind down. Okay guys, so we're um, done with our little nap back in the hotel and it was so refreshing. I wish I could sleep more but no, you cannot waste time on holiday, right? We are here actually back in the mall to have some sushi because we wanted to go to this place that is um, very that is the equivalent of like pojang matcha in Korea. However, we are afraid that number one, you might uh, be overcharged sometimes because you don't know where to sit and it's very very crowded. Number two, it's a little bit cold. And number three, um, we are afraid that because it's very yakitori style and it's like a drinking place, we might not be full. So I had like a snack just now but Naughty didn't. So he wanted to have like a bit of meal before heading there in case we don't get to sit and eat. So we are here at some sushi place. It's basically just some random place that we chance upon um, while walking here and there just now in the mall. So let's go in and try some sushi. Sushi. The other thing is they have Korean words here. This, this shows how much Koreans actually come and eat. So, the thing they come out with this, this prawn looks so succulent and good. So, one each for me and Nutty. Let's dig it. Mmm. Mmm. so good. What's up, What I really like about food. Japanese sushi eh? You can taste it grain by grain. The beginner and all that taste so nice inside. It is warm. I love warm sushi. Not cold sushi. Warm sushi. The next thing that came out is this. So it's just everything that's inside. We wanted to eat the uni here. So I'm guessing that's mine. And then there's like tuna, saltfish, scallop, and egg so Let's try. <laughs> Too light. <laughs> we need to go back. Okay, going to mark the rest. Mmm, mm, it's so soft. Wow. Wow, the sushi here is so good. Very fresh, really. Mmm, the ginger is right. It's not very like attacking you in the face. Wow, 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 wow. This looks so. Good, it's gonna melt in my mouth. Let's try. 
ordered a like um, sushi tuna set thingy also. So let me just try one piece from here. Go try this on the bed. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Okay, 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 normal, normal. Wow, the fattiness is like boom. Wow, I'm very fatty though. Nice. Mm. You like? Mmm, mm, the skillet's so good. So cool, right, guys? So nowadays in Korea and maybe in Singapore, they still Korean count the plates. They still count yeah, the plates. Yeah, yeah. But now here is high tech, really. They just scan and they know what plates you're supposed to pay for. So, atas. Let me tell you how much it costs when we go out. Okay, so it costs how much in total? 64 bucks around there. We probably ate at least, I at least ate 10 sushi. Nice so. Yeah, but it's nice and it's like very fresh and we literally just walked there because that was the only sushi place that looks available and it tastes so good and I feel like every store you walk into is kind of decent so I, I think mean, in the touristic area is a bit same with Korea. The one with the bad taste, they can't last very long. I mean, you can be in a bad person that just go in the first day of the opening or like the last day of business Closing. operation day, but you can tell mm -hmm. like when there's nobody inside. Yeah, now it's very hard to survive if you uh, don't bad. have bad food. Yeah. So it's always decent. Not sure if we're gonna eat still, but we're gonna head to this like Pojam Matcha place that I talked about just now. It's two stops away from here, and we have to walk a bit. So let me get there and film more later. Let me read. As you can see, um, this is actually what we came for. This one is called like a Nakasu Itai, right? Even Something not, like that. Yeah. I mean, we searched about it and that's what they say. So basically, it's like Pojang Matcha, and that's when you kind of like sit around and then get some food and drinks. Like just Anju, what's Anju? Yeah, whatever that comes together with the drink. Just sit down and then you just enjoy the funigi, the like atmosphere, the environment because it's right next to the lake, a bit like Hanggang like that. So you just imagine a open restaurant next to Hanggang. Klaki. Oh yes, that's right. Klaki but in a nice way. Oh, they saying hi. <laughs> and then there's the Singapore Klaki River, uh, river tour. I heard and searched on YouTube that if you want, to actually dine here, you have to come earlier so that you don't have to queue. If not, you have to wait up to about 30 minutes. And I, we kind of like knew that would happen, so we ate before coming so that we don't really have have to eat it anyway. Um, it's a drinking place and we are not like big drinkers when we are together. And I so it's just the atmosphere. So if you like it, you can come here, you know, just enjoy the scene and stuff. And it's very, very nice weather. Oh, so. I know. It's a Klaki and this is the Lao Pasak. Like it's, it's they make drinks outside here like this eh? A bit like the Indonesia Pasar Malam no? <laughs> So interesting Like this Ending our day with Moss Burger. Actually, I'm very full, but Naughty suggested it and I couldn't say no. So, let's try the Moss Burger in this place. In Moss Burger, it's always stream burger. Mm -hmm. Wow. The is they have the real stream inside. Wow. The yuzu sauce taste is a bit different from Korea, I think. Mm. No, I know why he's a very clean really a very clean The best part is that the melon's without. Okay, hi guys, it's day two in Fukuoka.